Hello, this is John from Code of Bears, and today I'll be covering styles and theming. This is part one of two. I'm going to start by opening and logging into Epicor. In this session, I'll be covering how to load a style theme and how to change some colors based on the site. Before we do that, we need to make sure that our user is able to maintain themes. So we're going to go under Account Security Maintenance and enter our username. And under the Options tab, we have this UI Options section and this Can Maintain Themes checkbox. If that is not selected, you will not be able to maintain themes. Okay, we're going to go into Settings. And we're going to load a style theme. First thing I'm going to do is copy an existing theme and paste it into here. And then I'm going to rename this to something meaningful to me. In this case, I'm going to call it LNL for Lunch and Learn. And then I'm going to open this theme. Now I'm going to go to Style Filter Manager. And in here, on this default node, I'm going to right click and create child style. Now under here, I can go to Filter Type and set this to Site. As you can see, we can set it to a few different things based on what we want to use to filter to change colors. And then our filter type select, I have my sites in here, and I'm just going to select my default. And then I'm going to name this. I'll just name this LNL. Okay. Now I'm going to save this. I'm going to select the one I just created and I'm going to overwrite that. Now I'm going to go back to the menu and we can open any form that we decide we want to use. I'm just going to open site maintenance. Now I'm going to go back to my home page and settings and I'm going to load this runtime styler. Now when I go here, you can see as I hover over things, I get this pop-up box that lets me select the elements that I'm hovering over. But first, I'm going to set the style set to the one that I just created. And I'm going to put my mouse over here, and I'm going to click 1 to select the, the tree control area. I'm going to set this background color to orange. And then I'm going to click Save As. I'm going to select that same style again and overwrite it. I can close this. Now when I go to theme maintenance I'm gonna go create a new theme. Let's spell that right. I'm going to create a new theme and call this Lunch and Learn. And then I'm going to go to Actions. And I'm going to import my theme style.
select the one I created and click open and now my theme my style is imported into the theme if I want all of my users to be able to see this theme and use it I'm going to click distributable if I want this to be the default then I'm going to click default now when I load any form As you can see, this one came up gray because I pulled it from that menu. If I go here, and choose my default site, and let's open job entry. And you can see it loaded with the orange tree.